The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. about that. Bounce pass is complete.
Inside the locker room after a NCCU 21-16 victory over rival North Carolina A&T as the Eagles go back to back with uh, conference co-champs C.J. Moore Sr. You've, you've been the spokesperson for this team all year. Kind of sum up this feeling for us. Man, uh, championship, man. I mean, it, it's, it's a feeling that you really can't describe. You just got to experience it. And I think uh, you, you know how it feels. You've been here a long time, and I think you can tell by the emotion uh, it's just love, man. That's, that's really what it is. <laughs> we just love each other. So when you finish the season like this and back-to-back -back champs, it can't get no better. Back-to-back. -back. <laughs> we go out and see you, baby. That's how we go out. Talk about the Eagle defense. You, you corralled Tariq Cohen, one of the best running backs in the FCS, held the offense 16 points. Well, we got to get a shout-out, a big shout-out to our coaching staff, man. I mean, they've been doing it all year, putting us in position to make plays. And they game plan harder than anyone in the in, the, in our conference, that's for sure. And uh, Coach Eastman has a great defensive scheme. And, you know, we've really been growing in his scheme really for two years now. And I think uh, today was just a culmination of all that. And you just could see we came out, we were determined. We weren't going to let one guy beat us. And uh, we were going to let other guys have to step up and make plays. And that was our game plan going in, and we did it. You know, we had uh, Ryan Smith locking down uh, their uh, jump ball receiver on the edge. And he's been doing that all year, so he really took that element out of the game. So we kind of got them away from what they wanted to do. For you personally, you finished your career here as one of only three players with more than 300 tackles. Kind of wrap up your career. I mean, I, I play I play for my teammates, man. I, I swear to God, I play I play for my teammates and, and my family in Christ. And, and, you know, anytime you do that, anytime, you know, you play this game for something better, bigger than yourself, you know, good things happen to you, and I, I'm just truly blessed. You know, I've been blessed my whole career. Uh, it was it was chance I got here, and I, I was going to try to make the most of it, and I'm just uh, glad to be a part of this team and part of this organization, really. Congratulations, C.J. Moore, going out as a two-time champion. I'm going to miss you, Kyle. <laughs> it was a situation where we had a lot of injuries, a lot of ups and downs throughout the whole season. We lost three starters, probably three all-conference caliber football players and you know we found a way to win games in the end uh, and I think this this game here is a reflection of what we've been doing the entire year uh, we've been finding ways in, in the last seconds to win football games and our defense they held strong offensively we came up with some plays when we needed to and special teams we had a big time punt return and uh, you know we, we won this, the field position battle as well Uh, it, it means a lot, it, just as a university, as a program. We have not been a Division I uh, FCS team very long, and to see where we've come as a program in basically 24 months is outstanding. Uh, you know, and I think it's a compliment to our coaching staff. Uh, our coaching staff has done a great job of instilling uh, some pride of, within our players. We have a lot of pride and a lot of character on this football team. Uh, you know, we're not the, 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 most, the best looking team uh, week in and week out, but one thing that we do and one thing that we pride ourselves on is playing with a brand of 
college football that's going to out hustle, out hit, out play. We, we have a motto is uh, that we're going to hit anything that moves, and I think we showed that tonight. Your team was down one and three early in the season. Uh, lost tough loss to Bethune. Uh, was that a point that you felt like was a was a critical point for you guys after that loss to to bounce back and 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 get going to get to this point? It definitely was. You know, I, when we looked at the schedule at the beginning of the season, there was one game that I thought was going to make or break our entire season, and that was going to be the Bethune-Cookman game. It, it was one of the best teams in our conference, and we opened up with that team. And I knew if we are going to have a chance to win the conference championship, uh, we was going to have to make sure we beat them. And we, unfortunately, we didn't beat them. But at the end of the day, you know, we went on a seven-game uh, winning streak and won all seven games. And, and each week was a – your back is against the wall, and, and you have to win every game. So every play, every week, every practice is all always just so, so much more magnified and so much more critical. And what you saw is it takes a lot for, you know, 18, 19 year old young men to focus in week in and week out on the game plan and play the same level of consistency of football. And what I'm most proud of is that, that we got stronger as the year went along. Uh, you know, you look at the, the last three to four games of the football season, you know, all cylinders of our football team were pretty much clicking and we just got stronger as the year went along. Uh, just one of those situations, we got great, great penetration uh, in our defensive line. Like uh, C.J. Moore said, you know, they've been doing a great job of, of allowing pen getting penetration and tackles for losses all year. And I think that defensive line, you know, they caused penetration. They was able to play in the backfield. How much has it helped you? He said that the emotions of the team were a lot more settled going into this game. How much has it helped to have this team kind of calm and collected in you know, a situation like a &T's last drive where they're charging down the field? Well, we've been in so many tight ball games the entire year. And, and in my tenure here, it's been really, really very similar as well. We've been in a lot of tight ball games. So, you know, just the maturity of this team. You know, we had about 18 seniors on our football team. A lot of those guys have been in that position before. They, they have been, they've been battle tested. And what you saw is it all kind of came together in that last drive. Oh, it's great. You know, two games they talk about you having to win is homecoming in North Carolina A&T, and everybody's happy. Uh, so I hope we please the fans and we please our alum. And, and uh, you know, we just did a great job tonight uh, of making sure that we were poised and we were under control. And I'm just very proud of this team. Coach, if the film wins, how disappointing would it be that this is your last game? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's not disappointing. It's bittersweet. You know, we, we feel like – we were, we are, to me, in my opinion, one of the best teams or the best team in the MEAC conference. Uh, so we're, we're somewhat disappointed that we can't go bowling, but at the same time, you know, we did what we had to do and we finished the season out uh, strong. And we control, we control, and, you know, we're co champions again for two years back to back. Last question, if there is one. You guys will lose some defensive players, you know, next year, but you have a guy like Darrell McLean on the offensive side of the ball who had 167 yards today. What is that, you know, going forward in the future? What is it like to have a weapon like that that you know will be returning next year? Well, two things. You know, one thing, we challenged Darrell McClain at the beginning of the game. We told him that although Tyreek Cohen is, is one of the most special players at our level of football and in our conference, when you look at the statistics, uh, Darrell McClain is not too far behind. And, you know, we didn't feel like, and Darrell didn't feel like he was getting the same respect that Tyreek was getting within the conference. Uh, although he, for productivity, they're, they're very, very similar. So, uh, you know, he took it as a challenge upon himself and the offensive line took it as a challenge uh, to go out there and run the football well against one of the top uh, Russian defenses in the country. Uh, when you look at what we got coming back, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about what we got coming back. Although we lose those defensive players, uh, we have 14, 15 returning starters coming back along with the three young men that we lost. Uh, so I'm really excited about 26. Sixteen right now. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.